Today, I have a seasonal piece of graphic design history. It's the 1967 Avon Holiday Catalog. So let's dive in. If you're not familiar, Avon is a 137 year old direct sales company. And that just means the products are sold through representatives and not in stores. Perhaps the phrase ding dong Avon calling sounds familiar to you. That's what this is. Now it's, um, you know, still done that way. You can still become a rep, but I think the business is struggling. Anyway, there's a lot of interesting lenses to look at Avon through. Business, because it's an unusual model, race, feminism, gender. At this time, Avon was practicing a separate but equal approach to marketing by creating nearly identical ads for black women and running them in black publications. This was really common for a lot of products, but they finally went for a more integrated approach in the 1970s, and you can see that in their catalogs. Avon is known for these really flamboyant bottles and packaging, and they only got more flamboyant in the 1970s. But I mean, here's a perfume in a key. <laughs> um, and they had, you know, they were trying to sort of hit all kinds of tastes from, you know, glamorous to simple, getting a little bit psychedelic here. I enjoy the use of Optima <laughs> throughout the catalog. Everything's affordable. Uh, for this time, I guess. Here we've got some ornaments. I actually have this package, which you can see on the People's Graphic Design Archive. It's really sweet. I don't have the ornaments. I love the photography. I think about the amount of work that would go into this. Catalogs were such a huge part of the graphic design industry and they just require so much typesetting and photography. And so a lot of times they're reusing things. I particularly love these lipsticks and this just bold color in their photography. Bubble baths were something they sold a lot. There are all these wild shapes. I can't I don't understand how it was economical to have all these different shapes and uh, packaging, but they did it. These are refills. This is uh, Skin So Soft, which was a formula that they put in a lot of different products, but the lotion is supposed to um, get rid of mosquitoes, which everyone found out by accident. But the photography, uh, sorry, the typography is, I think, really nice. I think. The illustration is nice. I don't think it was taken very seriously in its day by designers. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it in, for instance, featured in print magazine, although now I need to go look. They had lines for kids. They had lines that were sort of more featured for teenagers. Okay, this package obviously floats my boat. It's a ruler and it looks so contemporary. The paddle is weird, the ping pong paddle, but apparently the, it says this ruler is accurate. <laughs> sweet. Anyone who watches has watched Cheburashka, this looks like Gana the Crocodile to me. Toothpaste, bath time, very scary, three little pigs, a bird feeder, and then hyper-masculine products for men that are sort of selling a lifestyle. I and mean, they're all selling this um, ideal of what men and women could be. Here is, uh, for men, we have books. What's your Roman empire? <laughs> and um, a, a gavel decanter. Women don't have anything so learned in their section. Um, and again, more cowboy stuff. I actually like, of course, this really abstract piece here. And spicy deodorant and then pistols. <laughs> And I enjoy this little mark with the A's. So if you found this interesting, you should check out Ding Dong, Avon Calling, the women 
and men of Avon Products Incorporated. I skimmed some of it and the author has some, done a lot of deep research. It's fascinating. This is an American cultural icon. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a good holiday, new year, etc. Bye.